gentlemen welcome back to another day's video and today we're going to be going over an article that i found after watching better bachelor's channel and man uh better bachelor is just an absolute favorite amongst us at fiend gang so cheers to him for the source of this article and making great content um before we begin though um i would incredibly appreciate if you took the time to like the video subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed thank you to those who are and consider hitting the notification bell to get my releases every single time we put them out there we're doing a bit of a split right now but that will eventually get back to daily content even though i'm still out here recording daily content for you all to get back to it the article of the day years of pickup artists why is this toxic skill still so in demand and keep in mind this article is written by a woman so here's a photo i'm not quite sure who this is johnny castle within youtube uh pardon me if he's quite popular but either way this is a woman's encounter with this johnny castle who's a uk based pickup artist and reads it, teaching men how to approach women they don't know is a hundred million dollar industry but doesn't help men find their dream mate or just encourage street harassment <laughs> oh boy it's considered harassment if people approach you on the street and have conversations with you now even if sure it's for the benefit of securing a first date or practicing game it's just like what if we flip the script <laughs> you know uh, if any time a woman comes up to a man that harassment now <laughs> just ridiculous either way um let's start here in an upmarket bar near oxford circus in london i'm watching two men hit on women with all the desperation of a doomed cavalry charge but without the heroism oh, man. Mike and Raj, not their real names, of course, a circle the bar scanning for women, drinks held at an awkward right angle to their chests. When they identify a target they approach, the women stiffen, their smiles tightening, they swirl, drinks with straws and chit-chat politely before mentioning boyfriends, real or imagined. The men retreat, regroup, identify fresh women, advance, engage, retreat. On and on it goes. Oh man, so this one writes a really interesting story, that's for sure. And to her on looking, um, God, I guess the whole cold approach does look pretty damn weird. But, you know, I get that the Guardian probably paid her to do this, or to go out and shadow this person, but this is just what men need to do to have an audience with women nowadays is the sad reality so you know i know you look down on it disapprovingly already from <laughs> oh man start this article but you know have some consideration i'm just talking to deaf ears here though except for yours to continue i'm standing with the man coordinating this operation the british pickup artist johnny castle as he watches as mike and raj his students run drills Tonight is the culmination of Castle's intensive, day-long, impactful connection workshop. For 700 euros, Castle promises to help men master the art of attracting the woman you truly want. But watching as Mike and Raj hit on women, women indiscriminately, uh, it looks as if any woman will do. Yeah. Also, sorry, pounds, euro, I believe it's euro, either way. <laughs> Correct me in the comment section for being uh, annoying, but um, yeah, this is the sad reality of it. Again, um, they will approach anybody that doesn't look, uh, you know, attached because that's how they practice cold approach, um, whether it's somebody that they really like or they don't, whatever. They're doing what they have to do. Just like animals go out to hunt and collect food and kill and bring it back to their families and hunt. Cold approach in a similar way. 
Good observation. Uh, it has been a long and disturbing day. Arriving at the venue, a four-star Mayfair hotel that morning, I found Castle, 31, in a black mood. A client had just dropped out. Tall and handsome with a wolfish air, Castle switches between charming and cold. He does not like being contradicted or mocked. At one point during the session, I joke about spreadsheets and GDPR violations. Castle is visibly displeased. Okay. So she's trying to knock him down and <laughs> you know, frankly, I would be annoyed if I had you come to my um me running game or something, which I probably never do, and just start knocking me down and saying stupid things like it makes sense that he's displeased. I don't know if he was being paid to be shadowed or, you know, for he's doing this for this woman for free for free publicity because let's face it any publicity is good publicity and gets it out there but either way the subcaption reads the message that the men are doing a good thing that women enjoy being hit on is continually reinforced by castle so yeah Let's face it, I think if watching these street interviews, if having my own fun in the streets, uh, if being in relationships, if watching content makes me realize anything, it's that yes, women still truly seek this. But of course, given how picky they are nowadays, it's from the right men. Um, and he's trying to tell men that every man can do this, which is true. Every man can do this, but only to a certain degree of success. And that's where, really, things need to start. Either way, I'm going to read this one paragraph and we're going to wrap it up. For the uninitiated pickup artists, PUAs, are typically men, female artists are much rarer, who attempted to coax women into having S3X with them through a mixture of flattery, psychological manipulation, and coercion. The movement has a surprisingly long pedigree, dating back to Eric Weber's now almost 50-year-old manual, How to Pick Up Girls. Uh, today, this seems relatively sedate stuff. Weber writes, The most important tenet of a pickup is that it's mutual. Women are entitled to say no, plain and simple. Okay, pausing there, absolutely. I think if we understand anything that women are trying, well, not just women, but I think it just makes total common sense. No means no. Don't push that boundary. If they say they have a boyfriend, don't bother continuing, even if that's true or false. They've created language to shut you down. Just move on to the next person. Don't continue to embarrass yourself and don't do something that could draw attention to yourself. Anyways, but the community really exploded into the public consciousness with the publication of Neil Struss's 2005 international bestseller, The Game, which sold 2.5 million copies. Wow. It introduced a generation of men to the murky underhand world of pickup artists and their nefarious tactics such as negging, insulting a woman to undermine her confidence and make her feel as if she has to seek your approval, or peacocking, where you dress flamboyantly as a talking point to hit on women. I went to university two years after the game was published and watched the influence spread like a virus through men in my year. I don't think I went on a night out in 2007 without some drunk rugby player trying to neg me. Oh boy. I personally don't know what exactly these strategies are because I've never read a book to do this kind of stuff. Um, it just kind of comes naturally when you're speaking to somebody at a bar. As Taylor points out, I'm more of the extroverted one <laughs> amongst the group, which is kind of funny because I consider myself somewhere in between. But, um, fail. Uh, yeah. God, I was just reading this article, man. Um, just, what a shame. Uh, it looks like she was pretty deep dived into there, and all she could put was her own prejudice out. Either way. If we had more time, gents, I would read the entire article to you, but YouTube sex, uh, YouTube and its, uh, lack of uh, attention span with these videos. Eh, 
that'd be something to read on Patreon if you guys are really interested and you like the article content I'm going through. Either way, we've been running for 10 minutes and I just wanted to summarize things. You know, the skill is in demand um, as it's really just harder for men to secure a mate to do things using methods such as online dating um, or through their own social circles, rather. They don't want to ruin their social circles by dating within it. I think the worst part of this article is considering it toxic and we didn't even get to the toxic part. You know, shaming men for wanting to interact with women is just annoying <laughs> and just not helping us. You know, these gentlemen are learning, so don't fault them for not being amazing. What, you expected them to bring everybody home the minute they got through? Now, if I were to put a lesson into this, I personally encourage anyone dating in the modern age to instead, uh, instead focus on dating within their social circles, even if you can, you know, especially if you have a bigger one. Um, or date people with similar interests to you, as things will be more natural that way, and interaction will seem less pressured, because there's a lot of pressure in society on both fronts, and... Uh, I just think it's a darn shame. Either way, I'm going to wrap things up. Holy moly, we're going long with this one. Either way, fiends, it's been a pleasure presenting my findings to you today. Thank you for watching. And if you like my content, help spread it throughout YouTube by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Turn on the notification bells. So I'll have new findings for you every single day, even if that is released every other day. <laughs> Do comment down below the video with your thoughts on this article and any thoughts of mine that resonated with you or any topics of discussion in regards to this video. Uh, don't forget to visit Hidon's channel today as well as Taylor's to catch up on their content as they're putting it out for you as much as freaking possible. But until tomorrow, thank you again for watching and always do your due diligence.